U.S. soccer has invested more in women's soccer than any country in the world. And we will, and we will continue to invest. So, the members of the women's national team get paid, on average, roughly 38% as much as members of the men's national soccer team which, not for nothing, hasn't been all that successful on the world stage. Wouldn't it be nice if equality really existed and we could all have heaps of cash like Bill Gates? Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's just how economics works. We can't all have all the money, and this happens particularly in sport. But it seems every time this is brought up, everyone's up in arms, carrying on like pork chops. So let's set the record straight. Oh, we deserve equal pay. We play the same sport. We do the same kicking of the ball. Shut Shut the fuck up. I hate this fucking attitude that you're all entitled to a fucking handout. You don't deserve shit. It's such a childish fucking attitude that you should just expect things to fall into your lap. Go out there and fucking earn it. The argument for the wage gap continues and equal pay is often throughout the news and particularly in sport, we seem to be talking about it a lot at the moment. Even though the wage gap itself has been constantly disproved and it is obviously illegal to pay anyone less because of their gender, it still rages on and the debate continues for some fucked up reason. But in sport, it is absolutely an inferno at the moment. Particularly after the cries across the social justice world, after the USA women's soccer team won the World Cup. And firstly, congratulations to them. That's fucking sick. I, honestly, I don't give a shit about soccer, but good on you. Unfortunately, the media doesn't give a shit so much about the win. It's more about why haven't they been paid as much as the men? Surely that wouldn't have anything to do with the $70 million the Women's World Cup made compared to the six billion dollars the Men's World Cup made. Now, if you can't work that out, that's 600 million dollars to put it in Clive Palmer terms. And it wouldn't have anything to do, surely. And I know feminists are gonna fucking hate this, but I've gotta say it, that men are better at soccer, nay, pretty much every sport, than women. I'm sorry, but it's true. In most cases, men are faster, stronger, more athletic. They can kick longer, harder, faster, all that type of shit. They're just better. They just happen to be better. I know that sucks, but they are. Don't believe me? Well, the exact same women's side that won the World Cup for America lost to an under 15s boys side five goals to two. The same thing happened in Australia a few years ago. The women's World Cup side lost seven nil 7-0 to a men's, no, sorry, let me just restate that, a boys under 15s representative side. Holy fucking shitballs, if that doesn't put a nail in the coffin, nothing will. And in any case, the women are paid 20% of the revenue generated by the World Cup. Okay, that sort of makes sense, but hang on, wait for this. The men are only paid 7% of the revenue. If anyone's underpaid, it's the blokes. <laughs> I've uncovered it. I've done it. But this hasn't stopped the women's team suing for discrimination. The captain of the team standing and stamping on the American's flag, which is just fucked up. And she's become this weird social justice queen for the entire world and everyone fucking loves her. US soccer has invested more in women's soccer than any country in the world. And we will, and we will continue to invest. So, want equal pay, which I think, is, by the way, I think is a mistake. Shouldn't you be paid more because you? I mean, really, honestly, how many, how many World Cups has the men's team won? None of them, right? Nice one, Jimmy. Great work. We see these arguments in a lot of different sports as well. We see it in rugby league here in Australia, AFL here in Australia, cricket here in Australia. But here's the thing. Maybe one day they will make as much as the men. But before that does happen, they need to generate the revenue appropriate to the amount of money that they want to make. And that takes time. That takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. A lot of footballers, whether it's soccer, rugby union, whatever, those people weren't being paid millions of dollars a year back in the, I don't know, the 70s. They've worked a long time since then to generate a lot more money. It takes fucking time. The money has to exist before you get paid. If you still disagree with that, why don't I get paid the same amount, $20 million a year, like PewDiePie or Logan Paul? They're both YouTubers, I'm a YouTuber. Why don't I make the same as them? Because economics, ladies and gentlemen. It's beautiful, beautiful capitalism. 
I love it. But in saying all of this, a great example of what can be achieved is Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey was the UFC champion, the Bantamweight champion for many, many years. She was undefeated for a long time before being head kicked to oblivion by Holly Holm and then being finished in a couple of seconds by Amanda Nunes, who is now the first openly lesbian champion of the UFC and is also making a shit ton of money. My point being, Ronda Rousey was amongst the highest paid athletes in the UFC, making an absolute killing. And the reason she was getting paid that much was because she was a draw card. People wanted to watch her fight. They wanted to see if she could smash people in the first couple of seconds, judo, fucking hip toss and throw an arm bars left, right and center. They wanted to see if she could smash people quickly and finish the fight immediately. They wanted to watch those fights. And that's why the pay-per-view numbers were through the roof. And that's why UFC president Dana White paid her the big bucks. She was a headlining, she headlined in fucking Melbourne, right? to a massive packed out stadium, like 80,000 people, 60,000 people something. Massive numbers. A woman doing that. If she can do that, then so can any other woman. It's not sexism, ladies and gentlemen. It's fucking economics, all right? Don't be a dickhead. Don't be a fucking dickhead in life. And you know what? If you don't want to be a dickhead, come and see me live. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm traveling all around the great country of Australia. Many shows absolutely everywhere. Come and see me. It's going to be fucking amazing. I'm doing the UK. I'm doing New Zealand. I'm doing America. I'm doing every... Oh, I'm, I'm fucking everywhere. Bye. I'll be a good motherfucking piece of the Middle East. I nearly fucking didn't state me. Dick stinks. You know what I'm talking about. Bye.